Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to work on conversions. And of course, we need our student of the semester, Charlie. He better be ready to go. <laughs> hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Got the calculator? Yeah. The worksheet? Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> conversions. That's what we're doing today. Now, on your worksheet, Charlie, notice you have some equations. Now, those of you that home, at home, if you don't have a worksheet, then you better write these down. Although, you should already know some of these. Actually, all of these. Okay, Charlie, so here's our first problem. We're going to convert 3,500,000 inches to miles. Ooh, don't get scared. What? Just follow the procedure and you'll be okay. All right, Charlie, now which conversions factors are we going to use? Well, these problems are like putting together a puzzle. You've got to use the right conversion factors to get to the answer. Okay, and the only way you really learn this is to practice. Okay, so here we go, Charlie. First, we're going to need the fact that 12 inches is equal to 1 foot, and also that 5,280 feet is 1 mile. Now, to begin our problem, we first write out a ratio, 3,500,000 inches over 1. And now, we're going to convert inches to feet by using the fact that 12 inches is 1 foot. Now, how do we do this? Notice, here's our conversion factor. And notice we put inches on the bottom and feet on top. Now, why do we put inches on the bottom, Charlie? To so cancel. So the inches will cancel, leaving us with feet. Now, if we were to do our calculation now, our answer would be in feet. But we don't want feet. We want what, Charlie? Miles. Miles. That's right. So now we've got to convert the feet to miles using the fact that 5,280 feet is one mile. And notice, here we go. We write our conversion factor. And notice we put feet on the bottom and miles on top so that the feet will do what, Charlie? Cancel. They'll cancel. Notice our only dimensions that are left are the miles. So those dimensions are what guide you through the problem. They tell you how to use the conversion factors to get to the answer. You just follow that and you'll be okay. All right, now it's just a matter of putting the numbers in your calculator and Charlie, what'd you get? 55.2399? That's right, 55.2399 miles. <sighs> Notice our only dimensions that were left were the miles. Remember, that's what we wanted. Okay, Charlie, so. For the purposes of this presentation, we're going to round our answer to the nearest thousands. That means how many decimal places, Charlie? Three. <laughs> That's right. It's three decimal places. If you're having problems <laughs> rounding problems, then you better go back and watch some of those earlier videos, read your notes, and get this down. Okay, so Charlie, Ooh. round to the nearest thousands. What do you get, Charlie? 55.240. 55.240 miles. Very good. <laughs> Don't forget to box your answer. That was so much fun. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Woohoo! Okay, now in this problem, we're going to convert 15 yards to centimeters. Now, Charlie, how big is a yard? This big. Okay, how big is a centimeter? Oh, this big. Okay. Now, are we going to get a lot of centimeters for our answer? Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way, right? Because, you know, yard's about that big, centimeters about that big. Okay, so we should get a lot of them because we have 15 of these yards. Okay. So here we go. We first start by writing a ratio, 15 yards over 1. All right. Now, what are we going to do first, Charlie? Convert to convert feet. Convert the yards to feet by using this conversion factor, 3 feet over 1 yard. Notice we put the yards on the bottom, so they will do what, Charlie? Cancel. Cancel. At this point, our answer is in feet. We don't want feet, Charlie. What do we want? Centimeters. We want centimeters. Well, how do we get from feet to centimeters? Well. We want to go from feet to inches first, and then we can use the fact that one inch is 2.54 centimeters to get to those centimeters. So here we go. Notice here in our next conversion factor, we use feet on the bottom, inches on top. That's because we want the feet to do what, Charlie? Cancel. Cancel. Now remember, 12 inches is one foot. And so at this point, our answer is in inches, but we don't want inches. We want what, Charlie? Centimeters. Centimeters, that's right. So, we're going to convert those inches into centimeters by using the fact that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. But what goes on the bottom, Charlie? Inches. Inches on the bottom and centimeters on top because you want the inches to cancel out and just leaving you with the centimeters. So, there's your last conversion factor. Our answer is in centimeters. And so, all you got to do now, Charlie, is put the numbers in your calculator and what do you get? 1,371.6. 1,371.6, and don't forget, our dimensions that are left over are centimeters. So there we go. Now, remember, 
we want to round our answers to the nearest thousandths. So how do we round this one? Your answer that you gave me was only to the nearest tenths. So how do we make it to the nearest thousandths, Charlie? Put two more zeros. Add two zeros to it. That's right. And our answer is 1,371.600 centimeters round to the nearest thousandths. Don't forget to box your answer. Oh, what fun. All right. Let's continue. Okay, Charlie, here's another problem. Let's make it a tough one. Here we're going to convert 65 miles per hour to feet per second. Okay. Now this problem is like two problems in one, in that we have to convert the miles to feet. Those are the top dimensions. And on the bottom, our dimensions are hours, and we've got to convert those hours to seconds. So there's two problems in one here. So here we go. We first write out our first ratio. Now notice here, we have 60 miles per hour over one hour because that's what 65 miles per hour means. It means 65 miles per one hour, okay? So we have dimensions on the bottom now. All right, let's first begin by converting the miles to feet. That should be very simple. We're gonna use the fact that 5,280 feet is one mile. So, Charlie, if we're going to convert those miles to feet, what goes on the bottom? Miles. That's right. Miles on the bottom and feet on the top. And notice, there's our conversion factor, 5,280 feet over one mile. And what happens to the miles, Charlie? Cancel. That's right. They cancel. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, at this point, our answer is in feet per hour. But we don't want feet per hour. We want what, Charlie? Feet per second. Feet per second. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we've got to convert those hours now to seconds. Charlie. How many minutes in an hour? 60. 60, okay. How many seconds in a minute? 60. Okay, that you should know. Okay, so first, we're going to convert our hours. Now, our hours are in the bottom. In order to get our hours to cancel out, our conversion factor must have the hours on top. So let's look at that. Notice, one hour is 60 minutes. So notice we put the hours on top because we want those hours to do what, Charlie? Cancel. Cancel. Now, if we were to stop our problem right here, what would our units be, Charlie? Feet per minute? Feet per minute. But remember, <laughs> we don't want feet per minute. We want feet per second. OK. So now we've got our answer in feet per minute. But now we've got to convert those minutes to seconds. So remember, minutes are on the bottom. So in our next conversion factor, we have to put the minutes where, Charlie? On the top. On top. So notice, hmm. one minute over 60 seconds. Because remember, one minute is 60 seconds. We put the minutes on top, so they'll cancel leaving us with seconds on the bottom. And notice, what dimensions are left, Charlie? Feet per second? Feet per second, that's what we want. So now, it's a matter of putting those buttons, or putting those numbers in your catheter, and pushing those buttons and getting the answer. What do you get, Charlie? Hurry up. 95.333. Okay, goes on. So we'll stop with four decimal places. We're gonna round our answer to the nearest thousands, Charlie. So what do we get for answer? 95.333 .333 feet per second. So 65 miles per hour is 95.333 feet per second. That's pretty fast, huh, Charlie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you can't ride your big wheel that fast. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Let's do some other problems. <laughs> now, we're going to look at problems that involve area and problems that involve volume. Okay? So let's write out some... Look at our equations up here. 12 inches is 1 foot, 3 feet is 1 yard, and 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. These are dimensions for length, right? Okay. Let's look at dimensions for area. Now remember, area is like length times width. Okay. And those dimensions are like inches squared, or feet squared, or centimeters squared, or yards squared, right? And so we can use these equations to get conversion factors for area by doing this. If we want area, which is two dimensions, we square both sides. So notice here, if we square both sides on this first equation here, 12 squared inches squared is 1 squared foot squared, which gives us 144 inches squared is equal to 1 foot squared. That's true. Let's do the feet. 3 feet is 1 yard. We square both sides, and we get the fact that 9 feet squared is equal to one yard squared. Getting this, Charlie? Okay. 